Every morning before anything, I have 500 milliliters of water. So today I'm heading out just for a two hour zone two ride, pretty easy. You probably can't see that. So for easier rides like this, I try and stay away from the processed stuff. But typically during races, I've been using these cyst gels. They're not available on the island, but the next best thing, which we do have on the island, are the cliff gels. I like those the best. They are easier on my stomach than some of the other ones. I use them because they get the job done and they're easy to get in, they're fast to get in. When I'm on an intense training ride, I don't have time to slow down and peel a banana. It's also a lot harder for my body to digest, so a lot of energy goes into digesting the higher fiber foods like the bananas and the dates. So definitely for racing, I go for this. Today it's just going to be a banana. I'm probably going to have a banana before and then during, and that will be it, some water and then I'm going to replenish with a big smoothie. A more natural form of fuel that is less processed and also easier in my digestion is maple syrup. I use this a lot during my trainings because it is the more natural way to go the less processed route. I won't be taking maple today I'm just because it's such a light ride. I'm going to have the time to just reach back, enjoy my banana. But this is typically what I use a lot for training rides where I need fast fuel and I want to keep it a little bit more clean. I drink a lot of coconut water as well. I grew up on it. I live in the Caribbean. I have a lot of electrolytes. So before my ride, I'm gonna have this nice ripe banana and a little bit of coconut water. Cheers. So I got a flat tire. Happens often. The roads here are not incredible. So we're gonna have to continue the rest of the ride on Zwift at home. I got about 35 minutes in, so I'll do another hour and a half on the trainer at home. Uh, Alba is on her way to pick me up now. I'm just walking to like an easier pull-off point, which actually has an amazing view. So you guys can check that out. So for now, just working on water. I don't usually do protein shakes, but I do sometimes when I'm in a rush. I like this brand because it's pretty simple ingredients and the sodium is low. I add flax because that's something that I want to get daily. So if I'm not having my oats, I'm having it in my smoothies. And last but not least, the milk that I use. Unsweetened cashew. That's the good stuff. Okay, so before and after. Cheers. Air fried potatoes are a staple in my diet. I recently found this low sodium mix, garlic powder, red chili pepper flakes, cumin, and vinegar. I eat all day long and I'm usually snacking on tangerines or apples or whatever good fruit is available. This is another snack that is really quick. All I have to do is throw the ingredients together and air fry tofu, which takes about 15 minutes. I've really been enjoying nutritional yeast and white balsamic vinegar. A few people have been asking for this burger recipe. It's very simple and fast and that's why I like it. Blend a cup of oats, blend mushrooms, walnuts, red onions, nutritional yeast, chili pepper flakes, garlic powder, black pepper, turmeric, paprika, chickpeas, and... And then you kind of have to just mix it all together and make little patties. Put them in the air fryer for 15 minutes, and voila. I like to add a little bit of lime on top. Actually, Alba likes to add avocado on hers and she actually eats hers with bread as well so that's an option for dinner i had avocado toast i really do this meal often because it's so easy and fast to prepare so it's just avocado cherry tomatoes and i season it with red chili pepper flakes garlic powder black pepper and this ezekiel low sodium bread it is the only bread that i can find that has no salt And just as a bonus, because Alba was cooking while I was making my dinner, this is not something that I typically eat, but it is a really good treat, and Alba makes it often. She makes her own tortillas, very hard to find already made tortillas without salt. And then she adds rice, beans, red onions, avocado, corn, and salsa, and a little bit of lime. So that's just a bonus recipe. And here's my chronometer of everything that I consume today. So you can see my macros, minerals, vitamins, protein, and things like that. All targets were hit and more. <laughs> 